So Tania Marseille is an alter ego that I use for my writer wish. This is of Erotica. Okay. Cool. Are, you, are you published? <laughs> Not yet. Can you slip into Tanya Masai and read some for us? That would be great. Yeah, but I would have to do it uh, back to you, so then you can only hear my voice. Because okay. initially That's it's okay. only on radio. Uh, Anne told us about her, um, her alter ego, uh, Tanya Masai. That was a little disturbing. Qu'est-ce qu'il y a au menu ce soir? What is on the menu, me and you, for tonight? It was kind of one of those um, moments in a horror movie where somebody, maybe their head turns around, and then she turned around. It's only me and you tonight. Cook me and eat me. Will I have the pleasure to taste your... I think that was quite nice because she opened up quite a bit, but still, it was so over the top. <laughs> I really don't want to do that again. Excited. Me and you, tonight. That's it. Yay! After a suspect soup, Anne needs to win her guests over with the main. With the starter not doing so well, like, wishfully, with the quiche, it will bring things up again. In a good way. Quiche is warmed. They're plated and the main course is served. Yeah, very rustic. Quite amazed at how good it tastes. Oh wow, thank you. The, I think the salmon and the asparagus go really well together in the quiche. It's lovely moisture and seasoning. It just is. Yeah, I'm really thank enjoying. Thank you very it. much. Yeah. Well, that sounds horrible. The main was thoroughly disappointing. She really did nail that quiche, but there was no thought in presentation at all. It was just shoved onto a plate. Yeah, Harriet said that she loved the taste right away of the uh, salmon and asparagus, and Stephen liked it all. So, yeah, I'm happy. If I could do anything at yeah. all, I want to be the chief of something. I want to run something. Oh, so, like, a, if you were CEO or something? If I was a what? A CEO. What's that? A chief executive officer. <laughs> that bodes well. <laughs> I hope she's not in charge of any... I don't know, any nuclear weapons or anything serious like that. I, I Unlikely for a paramedic. Anne has tried her hardest, I think, but I think overall it hasn't been that great. With the rustic main done, the compote is warmed and the raclette is brought out for Anne's dessert. The plan is to, to put it in the middle of the table so everyone makes their own crepes, so it's all fun and social and friendly, that's it. Yeah, I'm all ready to go. And crepes was it is served, DIY style. It's good, ah, my girl. Yeah, that's, that's a positive stuff. Oh, spillage. Wait, 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 wait. Top, deux, un, hey. When they were all making the crepe, they were all getting into it because it's like a game, actually. Crepe's done, and Steve's impressed with the compote. I like the taste. I really do. I think it complements the the pancake well, and it looks a little like brain matter. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure that's a compliment, anyway. Hmm, it's really, really nice. The batter's lovely. I'm just being quite traditional and English and going for the lemon and sugar. Excellent decision. I know. I think, I, I'll maybe a handful of raisins. You ever do that when you were a kid? No. You are about as funny as my right foot, Reese. How funny is your right foot? Not as funny as your face, Reese. <laughs> Ouch! Have I just got on that last nerve of yours, my friend? No, that happened a long time ago. Yeah, exactly. Four <laughs> days ago. <laughs> Around the world in four days with Greece. And there's some curry. <laughs> Serving <laughs> curry from a jar. Not the whole thing, actually, <laughs> sweetheart. <laughs> At least I didn't serve dry pork. <gasps> Let's move on to yeah. it, shall we? Uh, no, I'm not now. moving on. No, if you want to have this out, let's have it out. Last night. Uh, have you got a problem with me, Reese? No. No. <laughs> what so was why, that? why are you? I'm not, you are. No. You've been, blank <laughs> you've been blanking me all week. You never make eye contact and your body language is appalling. Have you had enough, Holly? Tina, I, I have to say, this is Steve's evening. You're being quite rude by bringing these things up at the table. Oh. Be courteous to your host. That was really, really lovely, Steve. Thank you so much. I hope we Good. didn't ruin your evening. No. No. Excellent. I could assure you no one has. Yeah. The most perfect piece of pork she's ever had, and that's why she's left it. <laughs> <laughs> that was really, really below the belt. Well. <laughs> <laughs> that 
is ever so slightly <laughs> awkward. <laughs> Did you bake the bread yourself? I didn't make the bread. Okay. I bought the bread. Okay. Is that why you've had time to bling up the table? Because you've kept your food very plain and simple and bought your bread. The funny thing is when you say plain and simple, if you knew what went into the sauce of making that. Yeah, but we made our own and bread then, yeah, and sauce. Of course. But you didn't make your own pastry. pastry. Are you making your own pastry or anything to go with we're the rest not, of your we're food? Not, we're not having pastry. No, but you bought the bread, yeah? Absolutely. That's fine, it's very Absolutely. nice bread. Absolutely. Very nice no, bread. We, we, we think so, we think it's yeah, nice. Yeah, it's lovely bread. I was getting my own back. It's only what she did to me. And it was just a bit of fun. She was a little bit bitchy there. And there was no need for that, to be honest. I, I think the bread mm. that you made at your house, I couldn't eat it. To be honest. Yeah, but we put the effort in. We didn't just buy it, we tried. But we've put but a lot of effort into doing... I can tell. I know, cos it takes a lot of effort to toast bruschetta yeah. and pop some prawns on, you know. It's very tasty, very tasty. It's so toast. classy you do it. toast is lovely. Just... You've done it very classily. The lime was a lovely touch. What did, how did you make the sauce? Uh, there's actually sweet a sweet chilli sauce in there. Okay. So did you buy the sweet chilli sauce? Uh, yeah, we bought the chilli sauce. You bought it. OK. Were the prawns cooked from raw? No, they were shot bought, but they were do trimmed and yeah, prepared by very neat and, and beautiful. I'm on a needy. Yeah. Oh, Dave. <laughs> Please say something, anyone. Well, this is a quiet of being all week. Well, yeah. <laughs> I think you, the important thing is to get past what they are. So if you assume that it's not something that's crawling around in your garden, it's been carefully cultivated. Uh, uh, sorry. Talking of cultivated... Charles, when you go to a dinner party and you yeah. don't know the people... Yeah. ..and somebody starts burping yeah. rather a lot next to you... Yeah. ..would you feel a little uncomfortable? Yeah. I think it was really horrible. It's like farting. Thank you. Or pooing. Or weeing at the table. It's Thank the same you. thing. Absolutely. I think burping's a little bit different to farting at the dinner table. No, it's not. It still stinks. There's only one way to settle this. Well, I have here my book on modern manners. Burping, it may amuse you and young children, but most people will find it offensive <laughs> and unattractive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Caroline does have a habit of um, slightly talking down to me. Um, I think she thinks I'm one of her pupils, but she does need to remember um, that we're not at school um, and we are at her dinner party. So, if I'm honest, um, you are lovely, but I find you a little bit patronising, um, but in a lovely way, quite pleasant with how you do it, so it's a skill you've got. Oh, I, I'll take that as a compliment. Thank you, Tom. You're welcome. Somebody say something. Anybody? No? We have quite an unconventional relationship okay. in that we don't actually live together. So Richard's got his own place. So you miss each other like the heart goes under? I wouldn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> now and again, of course. I couldn't live like that. Well, because we're married. <laughs> Till death is to part. Yeah. For richer, for poorer. In oh, sickness and in oh, health. Right, love. <laughs> Hasta luego. Manana, manana. <laughs> banana, banana. Write your own vows then, did you, Chris? One day, if we do decide to tie that knot, we'll have, obviously have to place. review things, but at the moment... So is it an if or is it a when? <laughs> I think it's a... I think it depends on how well we do tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not buying a hat yet. No, You're not buying a, not. a black hat? No. Maybe. <laughs> My main bugbear about Richard is that he thinks he's always right. I do apologise when I'm wrong, but it's not very often, <laughs> to be honest. Not, not very, very often, often, do you mean, like, once not... a year, not very often, or just never? About probably 98% of the time. <laughs> when I am wrong, I will apologise. Is that somebody else? <laughs> Ooh, this is a bit awkward now. <laughs> In the kitchen, the pressure is on. So, can you put a timer on, maybe? I've already put the timer on, leave it's it on. It's on, like, nothing. That is on for this, and this... Do you just to get on with it. Yes, I am. You have your little paddy there. I like to do things in my time how I do them. Time to play up, I reckon. Who's... Well, it doesn't really matter, cos these are all the same, doesn't it? It's a good idea doing steak, then. Yeah, just get on with it. Tonight's main is filet mignon avec potato dauphinoise with a side of passive aggression and a jus. Should I spend in the kitchen? Hmm. 
<laughs> yeah. Did you work all right together in the kitchen? No. no. Okay. <laughs> If we were married, we'd be having a divorce. <laughs> were you still 98% right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See you, Deb. <laughs> oh. oh. Uh-oh. You've done it now, Dickie. I'm in the bad books. <laughs> <laughs> Don't shy. Yeah. Um, what did you do? Just being myself. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> Just... Oh, one to ten. <laughs> Twelve, baby. Oh, oh. Just... <laughs> Holy shimoli. It was that 98% right all the time. Yeah. It was like, maybe you should tone it down to just swallow your pride a little bit. Go and apologise. Yeah, I'll definitely do that. This is not one of her fingers, is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that might be his heart. <laughs> <laughs> Stone cold. <laughs> oh, the compassion. The dinner sat there and got cold because she was out the room. Yeah, I'm fine. It's fine. It's fine. I know it's stressful it's and it's been a long day. It was all getting a little bit too much. I love you. Okay. That's lovely. Yeah, lo uh, it's nice, yeah. Hey. You OK? Sorry, guys. Don't apologise. Oh, my God. Don't apologise. Don't apologise. Oh, God, Don't oh, apologize. God, I didn't realise you're not eaten. Oh, 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 I thought it was you. Oh, oh, sorry. Come back and sit there eating on your own. I was disappointed in you, David. Yesterday, I seen that you you, you down you down dressed. I thought maybe it's just it's just a one off, you know. He sees how we dress. I think he's going to make a real effort. He's going exact to be opposite boots. reaction. Exact opposite. <laughs> I saw how you guys dressed. I said I can't match that, so I'm not even going. To... Oh, thank you very much. No, well, no, I expected more. I expected more. When the subject of how David was dressed came up, I felt a bit awkward. To me. Uh, being a man isn't about looking good. You know, when someone sits there and starts criticizing my clothes, man, that's something my little sisters do. With the club I used to, with people who were wanting to go into the club, I would sort of, you know, judge them a little bit on how they dressed, you know. Mm -hmm. if, they, if they didn't dress well, they weren't going to spend a lot of money in the club, so we don't want to let a certain, mm -hmm. certain clientele in. Well, you're so cool. I probably wouldn't go to your club, you're, bro. You're, 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 <laughs> you'd be bad. Ultimately, your guest was invited without a dress code and probably in a competition. You don't challenge your guests or make them feel uncomfortable. You're talking historically, dressed and had. Yes. What's what's the story? What do you mean? You With talked about your, your club. With the club in the middle of saying when the club just now. Not enough clientele. Touche! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, conversation was great over the main course. It was yeah. getting a lot more heated and interesting and a little bit of yeah. insults getting lobbed back and forth. That's nice. Glad you're having fun. So it's on to the main. By flowing water and green earth, slow cooked beef and boiled up leaf. She's Sorry. mystical, isn't she? Yeah. Whatever gives you that idea. She's connected through her chakras. Would have preferred a steak, but slow cooked beef is good. Mm -hmm. And what bit of beef you got tonight? This bit of beef is a salmon cut. I feel it's got more flavour and then, uh, than, than the fillet. A quick coating of mustard and coriander, and he'll roast it for a couple of hours. It's, it's what I expected. It's Yorkshire comfort food. Actually, it's French comfort food. Potato dauphinoise are French. Bob warms cream and adds sliced potatoes. Ever put a spell on Bob, eh, Ned? Do you know, I'd never thought about putting a spell on Bob to make him clean in the kitchen, but I think put I should do. Put a spell on me 36 years ago. No, it was longer than that. The bewitched Bob then layers the potatoes and pours over the creamy sauce. Just before it's finished cooking, I'll put the gruyere cheese on. Cut them thinner, they're too thick. Thinner, Bob. Does that look enticing? Enticing? It looks hotter than magma. Yeah, that's what it is. Just as nice as it looks, flour. It's going to be spellbinding. So, for the second night running, posh roast beef with samphire and molten dauphinoise. So this is your main course. I'm going to do ladies first again. Thank you. Thank you, sweetheart. The pale green stuff is called samphire. This samphire looks like little frog toes. It's vegetable, mm -hmm. so it's not alive. Well, it isn't alive anywhere, but not anymore. That's good to know, Ned. This is dauphinoise potato. How do you say it, Bob? Dauphinoise. 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 That's yeah. what I said, didn't I? No, you said dope in Do you know what? For me, the dope in potatoes is the star of this dish. Very nice. Very tasty. 
<laughs> some fire frog's feet were some, some... delicious. Yeah. The meat did like it definitely. It was very, very... <laughs> So, for the second night running, the beef hasn't been a hit. But has anyone learned anything? I think what I've learned about Matthew is he is happy to sit in the background, but I've seen him over this week really flourish and really just be himself. Even though, to me, like, Lucy is beautiful, obviously, but she, she always says, oh, no, Johnny's the cook and, and, and all this, and, but, no, like, you have stepped up to the plate and, like, you can cook for me loads more rather than just on a Sunday when you do that marvellous dinner. You're a winner already. I've really enjoyed seeing Lucy let her hair down this week. <laughs> the first night, I think Lucy was holding back. Yep. And I think that I just want to see you continue to flourish as well. Uh, I think she's a little bit off at mark sometimes. She probably likes to think she knows people better than she does. She, like... <laughs> she really doesn't. I'm hoping we might stay friends. I think we've got a lot in common. Um, definitely a lot of attraction is working. Don't think we'll be going back round to Matt and Claire's for a dinner party. No, but we'll... Or like a hot to party. No, we'll go to gigs. Or any kind of party. You got that, Johnny. And now we've got a little something for you. I'm going to introduce... Not another singer. Net. So, for the third night running... The guy won't stop, it's falling apart I was late for work and the boss got smart Does everyone in Yorkshire do a bit of pub singing on the side? It felt like a bit of a moment for Nat there. She put, a big moment for Yeah, her. she's putting herself out there and I loved it. This job ain't worth the pain Can't wait till the end of the day she can sing. She can sing. She's good. She's got she's nice... Got she's got a country kind country, of yeah. vocal. my feet, fix me something to eat. Woo! I just like to have a go at singing, so... It just makes me feel good. Yeah! I enjoyed singing, You've won anyway. them over big time. I enjoyed that. Just I enjoyed singing. Just don't screw it up with a chocolate pudding. <laughs> <laughs>